Just another day, platoon with Zeta Squad. Rage! I tried! Rage! I'm reloading! Give me a second! Rage, you got this! <laughs> he just went past you! He's literally just walking past you like- Did the machine matter. get killed? Machine's dead, yeah. Machine. Yeah, he, he's dead. Dude, I can clip the 100 I can clip the 100 Clip! Clip him! No, he we went out of my range! I'm on my way! Just survive it, absorb it, just absorb it. Whoa! I am getting me! What is that? What? No worry, you can clip him. You can clip him. I hit him? I gotta run! I gotta run! Why is he shooting Ooh. me? Oh, that uh, was hot. What happened? That, that. Nice. that was a still kill there if I ever saw one. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> never worry, boys. Never worry. Times five, first game. Oh, never worry. <laughs> never worried, immediately dies. Hey guys, Kongai here, and today we're going to be looking at two medium tank replays. Two very different medium tanks. We're going to be doing the same thing we did with the Falcon, the light tank, where we talked about what we did, the steps we went through, um, to have uh, some pretty good games, some pretty good impacts on the game, to help win the game. And, yeah, we're in medium tanks. And a lot of times you hear the term medium flank. Like, there's a heavy flank, there's a medium flank on maps. And, for instance, we're on stepped, I would say the medium flank is the east side. That doesn't mean you have to take your medium tanks that way. You are the Swiss army knife of tanks in this game when you're a medium tank. You can pretty much do whatever you want, whatever you see fit. And so what I've decided to do is get stuck on this rock. There you go. Um, I've decided to play the, the light tank role because I noticed we had no light tanks in our game. So I decided, okay, I'm going to take my M60 because it's fast enough into this bush, get some spots going, seeing if our team can get a couple easy quick kills. Because in this game, if you can get a quick kill or two, you can win the game really fast. Like those games where uh, your team raffle stomps, it's usually because of good scouts. And so that's what I've decided to do here is become the scout. And so I've taken up the middle of the map. Now what's great about taking the middle of the map on any map, if you're able to take it without getting killed, is you can then redeploy anywhere you need to rather rapidly. And now the entire enemy team, not the entire enemy team, but a, a majority of the enemy team have stopped to try to shoot at me. So already our team is going to have a huge advantage on both flanks just because they have less tanks to fight. So we've already pretty much had a huge impact in this game. Even if we die right now, we've had a huge impact in the game, even though we've only done 1,000 assist and 400 damage. That's all we need to do, and the game is pretty much won already. We have a little bit in front of us, E75 on our left, Action X on our left. There's another tank, I think, shooting at us and a Conqueror as well. And those tanks are in the fight now because they want to just shoot me. There you go. I've taken four tanks out of the fight because they all want to shoot me. See what I'm saying? So that's what I've done here is I've taken a few tanks out of the fight. But like I said, you are the Swiss Army Knife. And in this position where I am now, I can redeploy anywhere I need to. Once these guys give up on me, which I'm sure they will very, very soon, I'm going to just drive up the middle and harass. You can scout, then you can harass, you can re locate just do what you need to do you can help the heavies you can go to the heavy flank you can flank the enemy entirely which is what i'm going to do in this game in a little bit after we get a few more shots of assist and this is this play is probably one of the scenarios where you would probably want to have the large mini map um as you can see i keep pressing my back button to take a look at it and that annoys some of you i know it does but i'm i'm so comfortable with the small map and i'm very comfortable just pressing my back button and looking at it for a split second plus i'm sitting in a bush and i'm not too worried i'm not getting shot at i have the time to do that so that's why i like using the small one is because you know i i i'm very comfortable with it and i'm comfortable just pressing the back button like that and getting a quick look at the the mini map and seeing where i need to go plus when you're in the center of the map you can pretty much see everywhere with you know without your map because everybody is in render distance for you so I, I see where i need to go i see what i need to do and so i've decided to harass their spawn now and see if i can uh, put some shots in some artillery 
Ooh, that was a nice shot into that artillery. I mean, it wasn't a nice shot. It was RNG that decided to hit in reality. Like, let's be real. And it does it again. It When you miss a shot, you blame RNG. When you hit a shot, you say that was a good shot. It's, I feel like that's, uh, that's a lot of people. It's a lot of people. But then when you see somebody else hit a shot, then you, you say that's RNG. And then when somebody misses you, you say, yeah, that's because he's a bad aim. That, that's, uh... It's quite, it's quite an interesting thing. But yeah, this game is over. It's 10 to 1. Alright. So, uh... Now we're just gonna... Be a medium tank and clean up a little bit. Which is what you're good at when you're in a medium tank. And we're gonna... Look at this guy's not even expecting this. He's like, wait, what's going on? Hello? Yeah, we're behind you, bud. We are behind you. He might be a large map user. Because he wasn't as very quick at realizing that he was flanked. And uh, we're gonna try to pen this guy with HE, but I'm like, uh, okay, we didn't do it. So we're gonna instead gonna shoot this waffle, because we have HE loaded. I'd rather shoot the waffle with HE, because that's just such a juicy target. Mmm, 496 roll. Now we're down to APCR. I'm gonna let my T10 take out the artillery. I kinda just wanna focus out this guy, because he's the more dangerous target. And, uh, I aimed that one really well, because I think I thought I still had HE. I did not have any more HE. So, uh... I didn't need to aim that well. I could have aimed it straight at his gun. We could have hit the, hit the gun and still gone through because the gun counts as, I think, 40 millimeters of armor. So we would have easily passed through the gun and gone into the the uh, 20 millimeters or 12 millimeters, whatever it is, of turret armor. But all that's left is this M103. And then uh, we've won the game. And that'll be it. Simple, easy, cheap, reliable. This was also while I was grinding the chisel, stage 5, and I was going for assists. So this game was exactly what I needed. Uh, I needed a game on, on a map like this without any light tanks, which is exactly what we got. And so this was very fortuitous. But, I mean, look at these shots. This tank is really good at shooting on the move. I haven't used it, though, very much since update 4.12, so I'm gonna have to pull it out again and see what happens. We don't get the kill on him, but that's fine. Uh, a GG is a GG. Is that five kills? Oh, wow, I guess we were one away from a top gun. So, but you can't complain. Can't complain at all. And the next replay will really go into more depth as to what I'm doing and explaining my process, because this game wasn't perfect for that. But it, uh, that was, that was only three kills. Oh, well. Well, all the more you know. Uh, second on team, T10 scores higher, that's fine, fair enough. But we did what we needed to, and I'm happy with that. Now we're on Sand River in the 907. So we're in two premium tier 10s that you can purchase with free experience. And this was back when Ayers let me use his account. And so I got a couple other replays that I decided I'd hold on to for a situation like this. Where I'm like, you know what? I want to make a point video. And what I mean by that is I want to make a video with a point. And that's what we're doing. We're going to do the pretty much the same exact thing here on Sand River. We're going to go to the center to spot. Now when we get there, we're not actually going to see anything. There's going to be nothing to shoot at. And so what I want to emphasize now is the map is your playground, guys. When you are in a medium tank, the map is yours. I would argue that the medium flank on this map is the southwest. But we're not going there. We're going to the middle because from the middle we can redeploy anywhere we need to rather rapidly. And I thought maybe I could get an ambush shot right here, which is kind of what we did in the previous game with our M60. We got into a position where we could spot and we had an ambush shot on the Action X. I mean, we got really lucky when we fired on the move and we hit him. But you can do that in your mediums. Take an aggressive position, get an ambush shot or two, and then move on. Don't be afraid to move on in your medium tanks. You don't have to sit and fight. That's your heavy tank's job, believe it or not. There are specific roles in this game that your tanks are supposed to play and perform that doesn't mean you have to play them that way every time or play them a certain way that just means my role right now is to support my enemy to go where i need to go because i'm the faster tank if my medium tanks need assistance in the right i'm gonna go to the right if my heavies need assistance in the left i'm gonna go to the left if enemies are going after our base or my artillery i can go back and do that the map is yours Go where you need to go. Pay attention to it. And that's what we're doing. I've noticed, you know what? There's a little bit of an opening here. I'm going to go go this way. Try to kill the 7-1 because he's one shot. Easy shot into him. We missed the shell. We're going to hopefully finish him off. And then we can go after the M60, who's also low on health. And, and that's what I'm going to do this game is just isolate tank after tank after tank. Because we took the middle of the map. We can now do this because we see it clearly. And we see clearly this guy is by himself. We're now going to start putting shots into him and be a huge impact. I've got three tanks there. They should be able to handle him. So I'm going to move on now. There's no point wasting time 
helping my team kill him because they should be able to handle him just fine. T54, he won, we fire shot, and we miss. You see, because we relocated and didn't waste our time on one singular tank, we now have the ability to ambush this guy, which we had two good shots into him. Unfortunately, they both miss, so we don't get anything out of it. But we are able to hit a blind shot. Now I realize, okay, FE2 and 5B, that's not something I want to fight by myself. However, we can still probably get some shells into these guys before he shows up because we are faster than him. Do not be afraid to outrun your enemies, guys, in your medium tanks. I know I have time because the FE2 and 5B isn't that fast, so I can put some nice, you know, easy shots into these guys if I so desire. But there's the FE2 and 5B. Is he going to change his attention to me it doesn't matter the 7-1 is coming now he puts it into our gun and now we're going to 1v1 him here he takes a shell somebody shoots him i think of my fe 25 b and this is where i decide okay i'm going to use my ability to outrun the enemy and i'm going to run away i'm by myself now it went from me isolating the enemy to me being isolated but guess what as i stated before i'm a medium tank we fix our gun there because i want to put these shells into this guy and hopefully bounce a shot from him we're in the 907. It can pull off some crazy bounces, but not this time. He puts it in, and now he's a one-shot. We have to kill him quickly because the FE215B 5 is coming up from behind. Can we finish him off with this shot through the rubble? Yes, we can. He goes down. We're going to change our attention now to this guy who has got himself into a crossfire chasing me. We were the bait, and he is now dead. Well, he's about to be dead. Are we going to kill him? No, we missed a shot there. Actually, I think we did hit him. We bounced off. Um, he's looking at us, but he misses the shot. I know I'm gonna beat his reload. Just gotta get the gun down We do and we finish him off 10 to 4 and now we have two targets here. What are we gonna choose? We're gonna choose the kill and Then we're gonna go after the tank without the turret kill if you're in a medium tank or a light tank guys And you have the opportunity to kill two different tanks go after the one with a turret because you can easily avoid a turret Okay in this game turrets are huge huge advantages especially in close combat so if you have the ability to isolate a tank without a turret, take it, because that is an easy kill. And tanks without turrets usually are still very powerful in regards to their guns. So there we go. He is dead. We didn't have to worry about the patent because we killed him. And because we killed him, we could focus our attention on the drive wheel of that Yag Tiger. Easy kill. As soon as you immobilize a tank without a turret, it's an easy kill. Even tanks with turrets are pretty easy to kill once you've taken out their tracks, because usually they can't keep up with you with their turrets. I mean, there are some that can, a um, bunch of medium tanks can, the fe 2 5 b can, but there are plenty of tanks that can't. If you track a mouse or an E100 or even an IS-7, it's not going to be able to keep up with you anymore, and you pretty much just won. Now we have this machine here, and I've decided just to go for it. We shoot him in the drive wheel because we can overmatch his hull there, which we do, and now we're just going to circle him. He gives up on us. He decides that nah, I'm not going to catch up with him. I'm going to put some shells in the tanks in front of me, but it doesn't matter. He goes down, and he dies and yet again we're in the cleanup stage of the game now i i can't say we were gonna win this game with or without me i don't know we probably would have but the point isn't the fact that we're gonna win this game regardless the point is we put our tank where we needed to be to help win the game would we have won without me maybe we would have i mean both of these games were steamrolls but maybe it was because of my play i don't know they still had an fe2 and 5b a centurion 7 one um they both YOLO'd me, went after me, and they both get killed by my tanks, who I was running towards. So maybe that was enough to help. I don't know. 4,600 damage, 1,100 assisted. This is an ace tanker, but that's because this tank was, I think, day one or day two at this point. Um, so it was very, very easy to ace the tank. So let's wrap up now. When I'm in my medium tanks, I love taking the center of the map. I love taking the fight straight to the enemy tanks, getting some spots there, getting some ambush shots there. And then moving on from there. Now, you don't have to do what I do at the start of the game, which is take the center of the map. Maybe you want to play a little bit more passively, a little bit safer to start, because maybe you're not as comfortable. And if you've seen my streams, you know my aggressive play gets me killed a whole lot. So let me finish this by saying that the, the map is your playground. It's yours, okay? If you play passive at the start, that's fine. Just pay attention to your map. Pay attention to where you're needed and go there. You're fast enough. Just do it, you know? Oh, there's a tank isolated going after our artillery a light tank go kill it there's a heavy tank by itself go kill it there's a tank destroyer by itself oh yes go kill it my team is losing this flank maybe you can help it uh, my t t team is losing the flank i'm on and there's no way we can win it run away get heavy tanks to chase you you're faster than them so play your medium tanks smart guys play them smart look at the map pay attention outrun your enemies if you have to 
relocate if you have to, which you're going to have to in your medium tanks. You're probably not going to pick a flank and stay on it. Uh, maybe you will, I don't know. But a lot of the times, uh, to win a game in the medium is to be everywhere. And be as many places as you possibly can to make sure you win. So we've killed... In this replay, you see in the background, which I'm not going to show the whole thing. We've killed tanks in the middle, we've killed tanks in their base. I thought about going to the right to help with that one. But then I noticed we don't need help there. We've got plenty of guys there. I'm going to continue to push in the middle. This is where I think I'm going to be the most helpful. And so that's what I've decided to do. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, slap that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you go check out Space Bandit, Gun Dingy's YouTube's, and Twitch. Links in the description below. And I'll be seeing you guys all later. Take care, everyone. And peace out.